Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. Today we are going to be running on ne the Netherlands MXGP of uh, Netherlands. Uh, keep watching the video and if you do like the track, I will have it linked down in the description. And uh, this track, I already know the, the title is Struggling in the Netherlands because this track, to me, probably one of the hardest in the game, if not the hardest. Um, always struggled with tracks like this. I don't know if it's like the way I have my lean setting set up or anything, but um, never really gave given this track like a good hour, hour and a half. I've kind of just been on it for 20 minutes at a time, a couple of times, and uh, kind of just really haven't given it a chance and like learned the track. So that's what we're gonna be doing in today's video. Uh, probably gonna be a longer one because I kind of want to try to establish this track, but. Uh, yeah, it's a sand track, so it's going to be technical and something new. I'm guessing this is a right-hander. Okay, no, not exactly. goes into a right-hander, which I can't get. So yeah, this uh, and all the physical stuff on the outside of the track makes it hard to ride. So the difficulties of this track comes with all the line choice, and you have to be... It kind of reminds me of Southwick. You have to be precise, you have to... Uh, like Southwick in real life, not as much as in the game. In the game is a lot more free flowing than this. But uh, in real life, it looked like you had to be real selective with your lines. It looked like some are definitely faster than others, and some are just clear out unusable because of the uh, just because of the way that the track was formatted and uh, how it was feeling, how sandy it was at the time. So uh, definitely looked like a difficult year of Southwick. Uh, look pretty treacherous for some guys out there. Eli Tomac made it look pretty easy. Um, who had underrated ride there? Probably Jason Anderson. Yeah, it, sand and stuff like that just fits the way he rides because he rides just so loose. But uh, yeah, today we are riding the Kawasaki KX250. KX2, KXF250. Um, very, my favorite bike by far in the game. Uh, the 250 is a little underpowered for like sand tracks. You kind of have to carry and pull your momentum, which is super hard on this track. So um, just gotta try to remember to stand up a little bit more to not let those bumps really affect me. And uh, let's see here, what else about this bike? This bike, KX. I've always just had the most time on it, so um, just a little bit more familiar, you know. I'm not mistaken, we can just launch this. I think the tip that everybody needs to ride in the sand in this game is to go fast, or to go power through, like, shoot, I don't know how to say this. Uh, you can go fast to power through a lot. Even just technical tracks, it helps sometimes if you have, like, a corner you're, like, really bad on. It kind of just helps if you power it out with a lot of speed like right here that's not somewhere you can power out speed but say like this upcoming corner right say I don't know where to go I'm gonna try to hit a line here and so I kinda just go with the flow kinda had the throttle down the whole time but it wasn't all the way though throttle wasn't down all the way but I was just making sure that I was keeping with the throttle but also you know, I could have put on the brakes in time. So, just a helpful little tip I found useful learning sand tracks. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's, this track's gonna be really fun uh, once you establish it. But, uh, just for now, it's not, it's not as torturing as, uh, as I thought it'd be. I'm not, like, struggling a lot. I mean, I'm sure guys have crazy good lap times on this oh as i say um yeah i'm sure guys have crazy lap times on this track and uh i'm sure that they're very impressive and uh i just don't really gel with sand tracks in the game i was just starting to gel with southwick in the video i recorded actually set down a really good lap for me at least i think it was 210 um and my highest now is a 208, which is still 
you know, slower to the pro guys. But I think it would have been good enough to qualify. I'm not sure about that one, but um, maybe. And speaking of trying to qualify for an aerial race, I was thinking about it, uh, recording the process of joining and getting into an aerial race, just for the uh, just for the experience and kind of document it as like a privateer low low level guy to go in and try to uh, maybe put in like a top thirty ride. Top four, uh, top twenty. Nah, top twenty is hard as hell. Yeah, I'm better at Supercross than I am at Motocross, so I can't wait for the Supercross season to come around. Especially if they keep doing aerials on Thursdays, I'll be able to erase every single one, and hopefully I can score some points. Uh, that'd be the dream. I qualified for three, but only raced two last year, and uh, I pulled a whole shot in the heat race. Didn't lead a lap because on the second corner I got absolutely punted. So, um, that wasn't fun. And I did really well. I still came back to get 11th after falling a few hundred times. And Foxborough, which was my least favorite. And I qualified for that one easy on a bad lap, which felt like a bad lap to me. So, obviously, I was doing something right in Supercross. And, uh, I wish I could race Motocross as well as I can race Supercross. But, uh, it was very unrealistic. I'm not nearly as good at motocross as I am at supercross, especially when it comes to consistency on tracks like this, which is basically anyone, but some people find supercross difficult in this game, but my first, like, I probably have, like, 700, 800 hours on the game by now, and probably a good, f I would maybe even say 500 I'd say 50% or a little bit more, like maximum 60% of the time on this game has been on Supercross, as I almost just die, has been actually on Supercross, so that inside's so much better than that outside. So yeah, um, a lot more experience on Supercross, and I know people find Supercross pretty hard in this game. I found it pretty easy, uh, I kind of learned as I went, but it was super fun for me, it's just something to do, um, something I found fun, but now it is kind of just, if I can, if I can qualify for a race, you know, it'll be fine, and, uh, speaking of all the aerial and, uh, stuff, it's been delayed, or it's been pushed back, Millville has, the track release for Millville was pushed back. I don't know why. I asked on the Discord and someone said, uh, Aerial, Aerial News, and I've seen that channel somewhere on Discord, but I couldn't find it again. So I don't know the reason why. Maybe Sonar had another family emergency or something like that. I hope not. But, uh, if that is the case, I'm sorry and something went wrong, you know. It's, uh, it's pretty unfortunate. But if it's just like another one of those couldn't work on it or whatever that's kind of blood in me and uh i hope he compensates by not taking this break that we have i think it's a two-week break um between what was with shugel uh last weekend two weekends ago can't even remember at this point it's been so long um so we had washugal not too long ago wow how am i like what am i doing so yeah, we had Washugal, and then we're headed to Unadilla. I think yeah, I think we're headed to Unadilla. So that one will be exciting to watch. But there's a two-week break in between, I think. And so hopefully he takes a week out of that break. Stone Rider does for Ariel, because I look forward to those tracks. I love those tracks. Uh, they're like difficult and fun at the same time, I guess. I gotta find a good line here. I think that's just gotta be it right there. Then I get too much speed for this. Wow, I had no speed for that. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, and I even said in the beginning of the video I need to stand up a bit more and I need to listen to my own advice. It 
Sending up helps reduce the, uh, helps kind of minimize the damage taken when you are, uh, I don't know, bumpy or just all around just weird tracks, I guess. Kind of just helps you stay up. But with a lot of these turns, I don't know how to handle that good and, or when I'm sitting, or when I'm standing up. So, kind of bad when it comes to that sort of deal, but let's take the outside here. Oh, God. So, I'm not the best at standing up, but um, I recommend if you're just starting to play the game, try to stand up a little bit more on these rougher tracks, uh, especially on straightaways and stuff like that. Uh, even on step downs or like this right here, if I went like this and then just go to sit through the corner. That's probably the way to learn the game. See, that probably wouldn't have happened if I was standing up. So, just stuff like that. And I don't know exactly what to do. I think I can launch off of that and then into that roller. What am I? I'm throwing this all the way. I was doing so good for a couple laps. Now I'm just not uh, performing. But, um, yeah, a few of these, a few of these, uh, these sections are a little bit more technical than I remember. I don't know if that's a, that's a me thing, or I just never rode the track enough to kind of completely analyze the track. And, like, standing up down a hill like that helps a lot, by the way, too. That's, like, a perfect situation. Wow. And you guys, I'm wearing a full black A-Stars kit right now with some cool gloves. Um, kind of made them for myself. And if you guys want to see how to make paints and stuff like that, or even just modify paints that you find in the MX Bikes Mods page with, like, your own number, your own colors, and whatnot, uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I can easily pump out a video like that with gear and bikes if you guys want to see stuff like that, or if you guys want to keep... Going, ugh, jeez, I burp. Or if you guys want to keep going on the the tracks and the, the riding aspect of the game, that's perfectly fine with me too. Don't really mind either. Jump into this right here. Divot. Jump over. 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 See, and stuff like that also wouldn't happen if I was sitting down. So there are definitely pros and cons to standing up. But like I said, I don't know how to control standing up so well. Probably need to shift up a little bit more. That runs pretty fun when you get it right, but I haven't hit it. I haven't hit it right in a while. Outside there might actually be good. I have to, I have to try that. I'll try to bank off of this right here worked really well now this outside line it's pretty fun jump into this I was gonna try to jump into that outside but I keep forgetting that that's a little bit of a shorter jump I'm gonna try to launch this right here I was a definitely a bit faster kind of double in you can double in here too roll double almost die recover Head into this corner, bank off of that real well. Just a short little. I need to stop using this line. Probably head outside on that corner. It's a little difficult. Head inside. I don't know how I am alive right now. Uh, just keep on going, I guess. I'm gonna jump that inside. Wow. That was, uh, really stupid. <laughs> yeah, inside rollers are kind of dumb in this game. Some people will rut them by themselves, so you it kind of prevents you from taking them at a good angle. I'm trying to jump down that and see what that does. Oh, that did wonders. But, uh, yeah, oh, I didn't even realize we have that good of a lap going in. I think my first lap was like a 221, if I'm not mistaken. And we brought it down, but we can definitely make up time on that lap. On the best lap we have right now. Use this inside again. Keep it going. Oh, I... 
bad spot. Still trying to jump in here. Didn't get it real clean. Yeah, I don't know. This this section right here, this back section is probably what I've struggled with uh, some of the most. And why am I outside here? Haven't been able to clear this once. I'm going to try the inside right here. It just seems a lot more steep and slow. Oh, I was going to try to switch to the outside, but the stupid pre-ruts kind of made me not do that. So right here... Yeah, outside you can definitely find a little bit more momentum, but you don't really need heading into that jump, so... I don't know. I don't know what really what lines are really fastest on this track, but I'm just trying my best to get around pretty cleanly right now. Try this outside. Outside's a bit more clean. Jump in's a lot easier. You might even be able to triple. You have a good drive. Double in. Hit that outside. Scrub that a little bit. And I can never get outside. I need to remember to try to get outside here. It just seems a lot more smooth and consistent. And I don't feel like crashing every lap there. Try to follow that rut all the way through so I don't crash like I almost did. Still almost end up doing that. And then I'm going to try this again. No, it doesn't even let you. So, yeah, it kind of sucks. You can't really take that at an angle, which is fine. But I uh, kind of just wish that was a viable line. Uh, hit kind of the mid rut, pretty much outside. Come back up to the top here. Slow into this. And, uh, yeah, this will probably be my final lap headed around. Kind of give you my final thoughts on the track as we tippy toe around um yeah this shark has been great uh i will definitely be spending more time on it definitely one i would like to not master but definitely like to spend more time on and it's pretty good overall i'd give it a good 7.5 out of 10 i'm not going to be able to jump that i won't be able to hop on this i did barely but yeah, this track's been more fun than anything, but it's been a little rough, and it'll definitely take some time to learn if you are a newer player. Even me, who has 700 hours on the game and a few you know, test runs on this. Oh yeah, that outside is clean. And who's got a few, um, few hundred hours on the game, still kind of struggles around with this, so... Um, yeah, definitely, this will definitely help increase your skill on the game as far as, like, sand tracks and corners and pre-made ruts and whatever you want. Honestly, this can help you in a lot of aspects of learning the game. I'm going to try this outside again here. Can't quite, uh, yeah, you could probably triple in, but, oh, I keep forgetting that, like, I can't just whoop that. I can't use those as whoops. Um, yeah, this, there's definitely the tough sections of the track. Gotta remember to head outside here. Still didn't quite get where I wanted to be, but yeah, it's a little bit more on the experience side. Like I said, if you're, uh, even have a few hundred hours in the game, you might struggle with it. Uh, but that's just me. Pretty slow learner. I'm gonna try to hit more inside there that's a lot better but yeah coming up to a close here and if you are a newer player i wouldn't really recommend this hard of a track probably go find something a little bit more if you want to ride sand lamel is probably your uh lommel is probably your best bet um xgp of lommel or lamel i don't know how to say it and um yeah, that'll probably be it for me. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below what you want to see from me, and I will definitely, uh, definitely come up with some video ideas coming from your comments, or even constructive criticism is welcome here. So, thank you for watching. I will uh, report back soon.